Hello everyone. So during this weekend, it is the first time that the new dormitory of UCLA be put into use. You can see that this is a dormitory for new undergraduate students. It took about uh, four years to finish the dormitory and uh, I see there are three buildings. Maybe there, there will be 1,000 or 2,000 spots for incoming undergraduate students. Unfortunately, it's not for graduate students. So this means that still, the room play and places for graduate students will be quite limited in, in the Weyburn Terrace. The buildings are quite nice, I think. They look much better than the dormitories inside the UCLA campus. But one problem is that there seems to not to have a cafeteria in this region, which means that the undergraduate students have to go downhill to have lunch or dinner. Also, this place is a little bit distant from the UCLA campus, maybe about 15 minutes walk. So. The students need to walk a long distance to to commute from the dormitory to the main campus. But above that, the dormitory is quite large and modern. And I see all buildings have seven floors, which means that it's, it's, it's quite a large building. Compared to the graduate uh, dormitories, I guess, there will be much more available bed space. This is the last day of moving, I guess. Formal moving, perhaps. So, so compared to yesterday and the day before yesterday, there are, there are fewer students. So tell me if you like the new dormitory of UCLA. I see the it's like a very nice garden. I, I don't know how many students will there be in in each room. Maybe three or two. But that's great. Because it's new, every facility that's new, that's that, that's quite nice compared to the graduate dormitory. But I also have to say that the graduate dormitory is also good. It's like just like a hotel. But the undergraduate dormitory, it's, it's less like a hotel because you have to share room with one or two roommates.